I have the golden tip that other videos do not have that is going to get you to be able to whistle loudly without your fingers. I have other videos uh, that go over some tips. Anyways, this is going to be brand new, uh, brand new method of learning. My, I went through my old video to look through some the comment section to find like uh, common questions I can answer in this video, and all I saw were just, like great things about how how quickly people learned and uh, how they learned, you know, just in like a few weeks or a few minutes. And I got a little bit jealous. I'm like, that's not cool. I spent two years of my life walking around work or walking around in public, like, <laughs> and embarrassing myself. But then I thought, that's not the point. I'm being petty. It's okay that everyone's learning so quickly from my videos. Um, and I remembered, or I reminded myself that there are a lot of benefits that come from uh, learning how to whistle like this by having this in your arsenal of tricks and tip or tools or whatever it's even a weapon but uh yeah so life improves greatly if you can be able to whistle like this uh for instance i ended up saving four girls lives because they were crossing the street on saint patty's day and they're drunk and there's this driver speeding up to the crosswalk uh speeding up to the red light with his head down and i saw it and like time slowed down for me and then i was and he lifted his head up, slammed on his brakes, and that was me. Sometimes if life requires you to be a hero, it might require that you know how to whistle too. So with that being said, please like my videos if you like them. Uh, subscribe if you want to learn more whistling tips. And uh, share the video, not for my sake, but it's a dark world and it's crazy out there and people need to know how to whistle. Um, Anyways, again, my my tips are original. Others, other people do not have these tips. Um, I saw a video after I, after I posted my last video where I gave some tips. One being make your bottom lip in an F shape. This guy, this guy posted a video about whistling. And he goes, some people say to put your lip in an F shape. I had to rewind it. I was in disbelief. Some people say put your lip in an F shape. And then he went to criticize the video, or the tip. It says, don't put your lip in an F shape. I reround it one more time. Some people say, put your lip in an F shape. Say my name. But he's partly right. Uh, there are different ways to learn how to whistle, so this is gonna be a brand new way where it doesn't really require to require you to put your lip in an F shape. I do think my last video um, is the best whistling tutorial uh, in the world, and I think the comment section shows that. However, if though if those tips are not working for you, then you might want to try uh, learning it through this new golden tip that I'm going to be sharing. Um, anything else before I before I get started? Uh, there's this one comment in my last video. Someone said. Tutorial videos make no sense until they do and I thought to myself that that should be in like the book of Psalms or I don't know and because it's, it's just it's just pure truth that It might not make sense and you might get frustrated But you'll get it eventually if you keep on practicing and then it, it'll just it's just so easy and makes sense Anyways, let's get to it. I'm gonna demonstrate this golden tip and then I'll go ahead and articulate it and uh, We'll we'll get you to whistle so, first demonstration. All right, so what I do is I stick my tongue out and I I'm I don't blow, it's more of a sigh. and I can feel the air going on the tip of my tongue. If you can see, you can, if you look closely, you can see my tongue kind of uh, like flag in the wind. Maybe, maybe you can't see, I don't know. But I can feel it. And that is what you want to strengthen. You want to tighten that. And you want to pull the tip of your tongue back against the airflow. 
um, keeping the airflow on the center of your tongue. So when you pull your tongue back against the airflow, you can, if you keep the air centered, you can really, it feels like someone's touching a, uh, I don't know, like a Q-tip or something against the tip of your tongue. You can really feel the airflow and it wants to kind of make your tongue wiggle or whatever. Strengthen that, keep pulling it back. And that's, that's kind of the position that you want your tongue in. Once you do that, go ahead and tighten your lips, pull your tongue, so the tip back and then pull your tongue back and tighten your lips. Again. This is also a great way to learn to whistle if you have gaps in your teeth or crooked teeth. Um, but essentially, it's just tightening, the, strengthening the muscles in your tongue, lifting that tip of your tongue back, and that is pretty much the position that you want your tongue in. Again, it's different ways to whistle. So I also kind of close my mouth a bit, um, keeping the lips tight. Yeah, it's, it's simple. Like and subscribe. It's not simple. Be patient with yourself. But once you get it, it's simple. It just makes a lot, a lot of sense. Um, like and subscribe. Share this video uh, for the sake of the world. And um, anything else? If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Uh, I'm going to make be making a playlist of whistling videos because <sighs> super bored in life and uh, if you want to learn how to whistle and you're not still not getting it, it's not your fault. Just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll make sure that I get you whistling in no time. Cool guys. Thanks.